This is my uh, 3D printed wind-up fan try number two. And there's some improvements over the first one. Uh, a lot of it is just in little details like getting the spacing right on some things to reduce friction and stuff. Which made it so I could gear up the, the gears so the, the, the gear ratio is higher. So for every rotation of the spring that's in here, I get twice as many rotations on the propeller. Now the spring I have in here is not as good as the one I had on the first one, but I still get more time out of this one. So, you know, I'm already thinking about the third one where I got an even better spring. we will get to that in a second. Um, and the way this works is the spring is between these two bigger gears and it tries to force those two gears to turn against each other. But then there's a, another gear up here that is a solid gear right across that stops them from rotating against each other. But these two are different sizes and the two, gear, two gears up here are also different sizes. So that means one set of gears kind of ends up winning by a little bit and that's why the whole thing ends up turning. And on this one, the difference in teeth between this side and that side is only one tooth. So this is as high as I could gear it uh, without changing the tooth size of the gears. And I wasn't sure if it was still going to be able to go, but it still totally works. Could use a bit stronger spring, but it totally works. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, and the, the little gears up here are also different sizes too. So this one is one gear tooth smaller than that one. That means this one has one gear tooth bigger on the little gear. So, anyway, um, playing around with these, I did notice one major flaw, which is that this gear here, which has the spring pushing on it on the outside, uh, the gear ends up wobbling because the gear is only held in one spot by the bearing over here so it can kind of like wobble a little, right? And that adds friction when it's pushing against the other gear when it's wobbling in that direction and hits it harder. So what I've done here on the next version is I put a spring stabilizer and this, this piece here connects, it doesn't connect, but it, you know, kind of fits against this part. So when it's rotating, it doesn't, doesn't wobble at all. And uh, yeah, other than that, there's not, there's not a ton of difference between this one and the first one other than just, you know, making little tune-ups. Oh, one of the things that was really good that I added on this one is these flexible parts so the bearings fit in way more easily. Because in the first one, I had, to, I had to really sand them out and, you know, get them to fit right. This one, I just popped them right in because it's, it's a little bit flexible. It has a bit of give. Um, so anyway, second version is doing pretty good. I'm already starting the third one. If I can get enough sun, I should be able to print this out pretty quick.